guys and welcome to my Unreal Engine 4 tutorial series on how to make a XP component and last time we stopped with this creating a XP component so let's continue with this so open this XP component and in here last time I haven't con connected this boolean with this branch so pardon me just connect it to like this and in here current maximum XP the current max XP float variable uh, make the default value to let's say 1000 you can make this any anything you want just uh, don't make this less than zero otherwise this won't work and mathematically incorrect to our blueprint programming so after doing that uh, make uh, open your character whatever you are using i am using the unreal's by default third person character uh, whatever you are using just add this in here and if you uh, type xp component you gonna see we have added our xp component we have just created so just compile save minimize it and let's create a hud and a xp bar so in your xp component just right click on a content browser and your user interface there is a widget blueprint this will create a hud your ui so name it xp bar like this open this up and you don't need this canvas panel so just delete it however what you need is exactly a size box so add this size box to in here and on your size box you need a vertical box obviously so make a vertical box and in your vertical box you need a horizontal box and a progress bar just like this and in your horizontal box add three text one two and three there you go after doing that uh, let's make this middle text name to uh, slash like this uh, now let's name this variable to let's say current xp and this to maximum xp like this and uh, make this size box and fill to a uh, desired and mix this size box just child layout width or right and height over right to let's say 500 and the height over right would be let's say 30 no 50 50 would be work fine just like this after doing so make this progress bar name to xp bar and we are good to go after doing this go to your graph palette right now we are on a designer palette and we don't need this event pre-construct on event ticks so just delete it and this event constructs what this event construct event will do this will be executed whenever your widget is created so just drag a node from this and cast it to your player character my player character is third person so unreal third person player character so cast it here and on your this object node get player character just like this after doing so get a node from this as player character and you can now access all the variables around this player character has so get your xp component just like this it's in variable default menu and promote this to a variable and let's say xp component Just like this and attach it to here on your cast succeed not failed make sure all you are doing is on event construct after doing so we have a current xp and current max xp text so bind this current xp to our current xp so just like this grab your xp component we have just promoted it get the current xp and attach this to in here and you can see we have see the convert float to text node however this to float to text node if you click on this uh, little arrow icon you see there is a, a ticked use tick grouping what is this use grouping is if you have four digit uh, number let's say thousand so it will be presented like one comma zero 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 so we don't want to would we don't need that that comma so just untick this grouping and we are good to go uh, the same way all you have to do is in in your current max xp just bind with the same thing we have done before 
so get your xp component get the maximum xp just like this connect it to here and in here untick this grouping you can also do this after doing so on your xp bar you can see there is a fill color you can fill whatever you want you like and in your percentage you have to bind this with our percentage we have created if you have seen we have convert calculated the percentage in our xp component so just grab this xp component get and get current percentage just like this and connect it to here and we have did all the things we needed after doing so let's make a hut where all our ui will be stored so let's create a hut by using user interface and widget blueprint and we made this a hut on your hut if you scroll down this palette in here on your user creator you can see this xp bar just drag and drop to here and you can see that and make this to size to content and drag it like this so you can see that just like this after doing so on your third person player character i mean you can create your hud or whatever blueprint you like like uh, game mode or player controller or player character uh, i find the best way to do that is on player character so just right click and on uh, get event begin play hope you remember the previous session where we have discussed what event begin plays do so it will be executed only once when our game is started or when the actor is spawned so right now whenever we play this play button the game is started so this event begin play will be called so just drag a node from here and create a widget just like this and what we the widget class will be it's a hud class after that just promote it to a variable call hud widget just like this and add this to viewport add to viewport just like this and hit compile and save however this will show you zero zero so what we're gonna do is we have to increase our xp so let's say if we uh, if we click if we press a button called four then our xp should be increased so grab this xp component and we have created that function called add xp so just grab that and connect it to here and uh, let's say we have to increase xp like 200 so that's just like this sorry for that and hit compile and save and we are good to go so whenever we hit the 4 the xp should be added to our current xp so let's hit play and you can see we upper left side we have the current xp to 0 and maximum xp to 1000 and we have a xp value which is full empty and if we hit 4 then it will be increased to 200 just like this and if we hit again then 400 600 800 1000 and now it will connect back to 0 and this will be uh, uh, the max xp would be now uh, 1500 just like this so if we hit again 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 so it will be increasing just like this and our current level it will be stopped when our current level will be 10 just like this so thank you guys so much guys for watching and i hope you guys enjoying my videos uh, the disclaimer was that this xp component was wasn't created by me it was created by a youtuber called ryan lally he is a good uh, youtube creator and my mentor actually so i want to create a skill tree component and it requires this xp component so that's why i adapted this xp component from him and all the rights for this xp component goes to that person so please guys follow him he's a great guy and great tutor all right see you bye bye